Hi, this is Asa, and welcome to my audio experience. If the body can get sick, it can also get well. Lifestyle is the medicine, and it's about living our potential. What is your potential? Your potential is what is on the inside of you. It's what you haven't really tapped into yet. And on this show, we want to help you do that. We want to help you live well and become the best version of you. And the great thing is that health is the vehicle to do that. Our health is our greatest wealth. And to protect our health, to take care of our health, is what's going to make the difference. It's what's going to take you to the next level. And it's what's going to be the greatest tool that you can use to be able to get there. Whether it's your family, your your kids, your grandkids, your work, whatever you've been called to do. Our health is really the, 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 the vehicle that will take you there to get you there. And so we want to take care of that. And our potential has to do with our abilities. So the reason take care, taking care of our health is so important is you want to be able to give it, have the energy and have the vitality and have the ability to be able to pursue and do the things that you know you're designed to do and, and haven't even touched yet. There's people in their 50s and 60s that haven't even scratched the surface of who they are. And you don't want to get into your 80s and 90s and live a life of regret. Regret is some of this, really, I think, the worst disease or health challenge that we even face today. I think that's the worst. That, that is the greatest. That's greater than cancer is regret. And I think that that's what plagues many and, and hurts so many is living that life. 888-283-7272. That's 888 888- Two eight three seven two seven two. What are you struggling with? Let's talk about it. Your health, your life. Let's get on the phones and kick off with Louie. Hi, Louie. I have ITP, and I have some questions about that on treatment. Hey, Louie. So, ITP. A couple things to to think about with ITP. Really, you want to focus on the inflammatory effects, okay? Because at the bottom of that, or really at the baseline of that, you got to make sure that the, the gut health itself is healthy because that's the foundation. Remember, we can sit around and talk about the, the kind of the symptoms, if you will. I always call them the branches of the tree, or you can really get back into the root of what's going on with someone. And that's kind of the foundation. That's where it all starts. It all starts down with kind of the baseline of the gut health. Inflammation, are the factors high? Are they not? And, and what can you do to really build that up and to keep it healthy? And then one of the first things you do, of course, is get your eating right. And lots of probiotic-based foods, fermented foods are really good in this case. The other thing that's important are digestive enzymes. So we don't break down the foods that we eat hardly at all. Even organic foods, we don't. So to, to get down to something like that, the enzymes are going to be super important. And not only that, making sure you have a variety. So there's things like lipase, which break down the fats better. Okay. Protease, which breaks down the proteins. And then, of course, the plant-based enzymes are the best for most of the carbohydrates that we consume. So it's it's getting a well-rounded, whether you use a supplement, there are certain uh, food sources you can do for that. But it depends on what you want to do to get that result. But that's a big piece. And then covering everything. That's why part of the foundational four that we talk about is so important with a good whole food multivitamin multimineral. If you don't have that, then you're not getting a little bit of everything that you need. And that's so vital in a, in a case like this. Now, once you get that foundation there for at least about an eight-week period, you want to get someone, and one of our providers can help you if you need help with that, but you need to get someone to check and see what your overall nutritional deficiencies are. That is the key, okay? The deficiencies play a significant role in what you're dealing with, and that that has to be taken care of. That has to be kind of a, an overall push that you need to do. So that would be your first and foremost. So make sure that you figure out what those deficiencies are. Because the weak areas, your body's going to have weak areas and strong areas, always. So you got to figure out what the weak areas are and what the strong areas are and then build a game plan around that, okay? Once you get that started, keep us posted and let me know, all right? 888-283-7272. That's 888 Check us out online. Go to asarx.com. That's asarx.com. Trisha in Detroit said I'm 56 
and I'm in good health. My concern is that my blood pressure is 124 over 80. My doctor said it's okay, but what do you say? It's fine. 124 over 80 is great. I mean, the the numbers are varying a little bit. Some doctors like to see it at 115 over 75, but that 120 over 80 mark is the gold standard. I mean, it is the, what we call our normal range. And even if it bumps up to 124 or goes down to 115, it's still in that normal variant where everything's okay. The, the number that's more concerning to many doctors and and in medical in medical care is the, the lower number. When the lower number starts creeping up to 85, 90, 95, when it starts cranking up that way, that's where you got to get concerned. And that's where everybody's light bulb and radar really starts going off because the top number can go up and, and you got to keep track on that. Don't get me wrong. Okay. You, you can't have those numbers jumping way high. But that top number can go up and, and you can manage that a lot easier. That lower number starts going up. It becomes challenging sometimes with certain people. So I would, I would keep an eye on that. But right now from what the standards of care are, it's looking good as they would say. Triple eight, two, eight, three, seven, two, seven, two. That's triple eight, two, eight, three. 7272. If you haven't checked out the podcast, make sure to check it out. You can get the podcast anywhere you find podcasts. So iTunes, Pandora, Spotify, Stitcher, any of your favorite spots, you can go there, catch the podcast. And a lot of people want to redo the show. They're like, oh, I didn't write everything down. You said, well, you can get it on the podcast, download it. Okay. Subscribe. So you can get the download. You can download it, listen to it. We, we put a podcast up every day. So we're one of the few. We put up podcasts every day. You can catch it every day. We've also got special content that we put in there. We've got special interviews with celebrities and sports figures and, and whatnot. So you really, really want to get subscribed to that. It's something that will be an encouragement to you every day and be a real blessing to you every day. 888-283-7272. That's 888-283-7272. So smoking, they're saying, and teen drinking – is on the decline, which is kind of cool because a lot of times you see that it can be going up. And we have been over the last several years, but Penn State did a study and they said researchers reviewed about 600,000 high school seniors in their substance abuse between a time period of the 70s all the way to now. And they said the results showed an increase in marijuana use, particularly among African-American teens. The study also found a significant decline in cigarette use in Caucasian teens, okay? So they said that now, in the most recent years, there's been about a 25% drop in cigarette usage and alcohol usage, which I think is really cool. That's great. So at least any campaigns that are going on and hopefully cultural shifts and cultural change are making a difference in those areas, and that can be huge. So kudos to all the work that's being done in that area. You're listening to Asa Rx, 888-283-7272. We'll be right back. Hi, it's Asa. I'm giving you a copy of my best-selling book for free to help you in your health journey today. I'll pay for the book. All you do is just cover the small shipping and handling costs. Go to AsaRx.com and get your free book today. To find out more, connect with On Call Radio online at InShapeNetwork.com. Welcome back to the show, 888-283-7272. That's 888-283-7272. Go online, go to asarx.com. There you can find all the info you need for us to be able to help you live your potential and become the best version of you. That's what it's all about. We want to see you live healthy, live you see the kind of life, live, watch you, really, more than anything. That's what our healthy university is laid out for, is to see you live healthy. We want to see you thrive with your health, not just barely make it, but really thrive with all that we have for you. PTSD is a big topic for a lot of veterans and even others, but we just, we know that we see that a lot. We get a lot of emails and questions. Our providers talk a lot to, to guys and gals with PTSD, but they say it persists for thousands of vets. A new study finds they did a quarter million study 
uh, on the Vietnam vets that suffer post-traumatic stress disorder symptoms. And even four decades after the war's end, they still struggle with it. So I've been known for thousands of years that serving in war is hardship and readjusting to civilian life is a hardship as well. And there's a kind of moral injury involved in the duty of being asked to kill others and defend your country. Dr. Charles Marmar, who's the director of Stephen and Alexandra Cohen Veterans Center in New York, he said for some veterans, as they become older, they may become more vulnerable to experiencing PTSD or might have an increase in their symptoms as their health declines, particularly in the neurological health. But it's never too late to get treatment. So even for veterans in their 70s and 80s, a combination of the psychotherapy, medication, and marital and family therapy can reduce PTSD symptoms, which can also include insomnia, anxiety, and irritability. All that, no fun for sure. But the Vietnam War ended, of course, in 75. But despite changing times and changing technology, in every study they estimate roughly 20 to 30 percent of war veterans can be vulnerable. Marmar and colleagues followed up with Vietnam veterans who participated in a long-term study starting from 84 to 88. And in this, they found that PTSD is still considered an anxiety disorder, which it's got a constant fight or flight position to it. And, you know, the U.S. National Institutes of Health did a follow-up study on this, citing pretty much the same thing. But depending on the measure, the study was about 4.5% to 11.2% of men between 6.1 and 8.7% of women. So it's it's interesting because with PTSD, of course, there's there's a lot that goes with it. There's a lot of challenges that go with it. But the VA hospital system has really, and of course people can, I hear a lot of complaints about that system, the VA hospital system, but I'm also hearing so many good things now about it. The, the training that's being done there, with physicians is really good and the care for our veterans has been increasing and I know it's not perfect everywhere. So don't, don't get, and I know that, but it is, it is, there has been efforts put into that to make it better. There's been efforts there now to make it a place where these amazing men and women that have served our country so well, and I'm so grateful for are getting the care that they need. You know, that's something that I think is is dismissed a lot. And I think as a country, we need to we need to think more about that because the health and the deterioration of their health for what was given needs to be cared for. And I, I think we have some amazing VA hospitals. And I, I think that the, the system is is getting better. And I think the research that we're getting with PTSD, which is one of the big issues and anxiety and depression and a lot of the injuries, of course, that happen through war is is something that's being picked up and I think handled better, which I think is important for our veterans. So just an interesting study about PTSD. I, a lot of people struggle with it. And just so you know, whether you've gone to war or you deal with PTSD through just life and things that have happened with, which I know there's going to be awful things that happen that can create that, family situations and relationships and whatnot, all of that can be really challenging the reality is to get help as long as you know even if you don't know what it's diagnosed as if you know there's something there something not right is to get the help that you need and have someone walk in that with you triple eight two eight three seven two seven two that's triple eight two eight three seven two seven two lines are open with questions about your health give us a call or go to the website go to asarx.com that's asarx.com we're here for you each and every day let's get on the phones and go to xavier one, I want to say uh, I love the show, but uh, I had a three-part question. Um, one, uh, I'd heard the other night that you were speaking about energy drinks, and uh, I drink those five-hour energies um, sometimes two a day. And I was wondering, is it possible to get too much of that vitamin B that uh, gives you the energy jolt? Uh, my other question was, uh, as far as pre workouts um, are any of them okay? I've read some stuff in the news lately that uh, basically you shouldn't be taking pre-workouts. And the third part of my third question is, uh, uh, I recently read that the best way to ingest an egg is raw. Um, I guess sometimes when you cook it, the chemical properties uh, 
will be cooked out of it and the health benefits uh, decrease? It's a great question. And Xavier, I'll, I'll tell you a couple things. One of those five hour energies and the energy drinks and the pre workouts, it's it's not so much the B vitamins. The B vitamins that they have in them are actually good. I mean that the nutritional content of some of these things, like a lot of people really downplay it. Like, oh, it's terrible for you, it's awful for you. It's got things like B vitamins, taurine, that sort of thing. I mean, the only the only issue is it's got heavy amounts of caffeine in it and the sweetener, a lot of times that most of them use, is not the best. The artificial sweeteners. So those are the chemicals. Like I'm not the carbonated water in some of these, no big deal. Okay. That's nothing. Seltzer water is pretty much all that is. Is it perfect? No. Is it just awful? No. <laughs> but it it's more the sweetener and it's the high level of caffeine. Now, even at 200 milligrams of caffeine, it's not that big of a deal because if you drink a couple of cups of coffee before working out or exercise, that's really gonna give you the same minus the B vitamins as an energy drink you know and you could you could take out the sweetener and whatnot so the caffeine i'm not a i'm not an anti-caffeine person at all man there's so many studies on athletic performance and caffeine it actually helps to prevent injury it increases muscular performance it increases mental acuity i mean there's a lot of things you just don't want to be doing six seven hundred milligrams of caffeine a day which a lot of people can do and they can overdo it and then also eggs yeah eat them the less you cook them yes the better they are did you know that you can listen to the Asa RX audio experience on Spotify and Pandora? For all the ways to watch and listen, check out our show page at asarx.com slash experience. To find out more, visit the show online, inshapenetwork.com. Welcome back to the show, 888-283-7272. That's 888-283-7272. Visit us online. Go to asarx.com. That's asarx.com. Here to help you every single day live your potential and become the best version of you. That's what it's about. Living a healthy lifestyle. Your health is the vehicle to get where you need to go. Your health is the vehicle for you to live out your purpose. And on this show, we really want to help you get there. We want to help you thrive in your health make the best decisions that you can, make the best choices that you can every single day, and really go out there and do what you were designed to do on this show. That's what it's all about. It is. Hey, let's talk about something. I like talking about different foods from time to time. Let's talk about cucumbers and what they're good for. You ever think about that? You ever really break it down? I love researching foods and getting into the nitty-gritty of, of a food. Because you think, oh, okay, cucumber. It's a vegetable. It's green. It's got to be good for us, right? And that's really all most people care about. It's like, yeah, it's healthy. Like it's better than French fries, so it's healthy. But when you look at cucumbers, you start break, every food has been studied and researched, okay? Now, we don't talk a lot about that in medicine here in the United States, but in Europe, they do a ton of studies on the nutritional aspects of food and what it can do to the body, how it helps the body, the whole nine. So there's, there's a lot of great benefits, and cucumbers have a ton. It's one of those super vegetables. We call it a superfood and what it can do for the overall body, but it's got tons of flavonoids, number one. Flavonoids are really important because they help support the body, protect the cells, and prevent cellular breakdown, which is going to happen, but the more cellular damage is what we're looking at. It has lignans in it, and also it has components in there that are anti-inflammatory, so it's a valuable source with these antioxidant nutrients, but it's got vitamin C, beta carotene. It's got a thing called manganese, not magnesium, but manganese. In addition, it contains flavonoid fresh extracts, quercetin, which is really big, and luteolin, also campiferol. But in animal studies, there's been these, they've used extracts from cucumber that have been shown to provide a lot of antioxidant effects. So the cucumber accomplishes, in, of course, a couple of things the COX 2 inhibitors pro-inflammatory enzymes it prevents and is great for inflammation now one thing i really like about cucumbers it's got a lot of anti-cancer benefits you start talking about anti-cancer everybody's ears perk up right so research on the anti-cancer benefits of cucumber is still in the preliminary stages but we know for a fact that in the animal studies that it's been helpful and there's compounds found in the cucumber 
called Q. Q <laughs> Let me see if I get this right. QQ bitocens. Okay. It's a tough word, but there is a strong, strong antioxidant component in there in the hope that the research can lead to the develop of new anti cancer drugs based on this component that is in a cucumber. So it belongs to a large family of phytonutrients and what's called triterpenes. Okay. It's a class of these polyphenols. But it's got different versions. It has version A, B, C, D, and E. And they've all been identified. All of these are contained. So it's not like it's spread out. All of these are contained in a fresh cucumber. So the researchers have determined that several different signaling pathways, for example, have been affected and impacted for cancer cell development. Cancer cell survival can be blocked by the activity in cucumbers. Okay, so eventually we expect that human studies will confirm the anti-cancer effects of cucumbers when combined with normal everyday meal plans. So a second group of cucumber phytonutrients known to provide anti-cancer benefits are these lignans. Now the lignans, which we've heard about, if you haven't heard about them, that you probably have, but lignans, which are found in things like flax seeds, have all been identified. They've got solid protection, the role of bacteria in our digestive tracts. When we consume plant lignans, like in cucumbers, the bacteria in our digestive tract takes hold of them and converts them into enterodiol and enterolactone. And these enterolignans have the ability to bind estrogen receptors, which is a good thing, and have both a pro-estrogenic and anti-estrogenic effects. So it reduces the risk of estrogen-related cancers, including cancers of the breast, ovary, uterus, and prostate, which all have been associated with dietary lignans and plant foods like cucumbers. See, this is why it's so cool, and I, I just love, like, foods are medicine. It really is. And I, I love talking about it because it really does make a difference. Like, our, our, when, when you start talking about foods, it really does make a difference in what you put in your body. Like if you're putting the wrong kind of foods in on a, daily, on a daily basis, you will not produce the kind of health that you're looking for. You just, it's impossible. You can't. So putting the right kind of foods in makes the biggest difference with your overall health. And something simple as adding cucumbers into a, a smoothie every day. I mean, if you don't like sitting there eating it, cut it up, throw it in a blender and, and get it, just get it in your system. See, it's that simple. It's not hard. So it's about following those kind of steps to make the biggest difference for your overall health. 888-283-7272. That's 888-283-7272. You're listening to AsaRx. Go to AsaRx.com. We can be for you, be here for you each and every day. Our providers are also here for you. We call our potential providers, our lifestyle providers. We've got a whole team of providers that do provider-guided, personalized nutrition. So doctor-guided personalized nutrition to figure out exactly what your body needs, where it's weak, where it's not, where it's strong, where it's not, and then build a good game plan around that. You got to know it's all in the details. So no more blind nutrition. The days of blind nutrition are over. Like if you're still doing blind nutrition, what is blind nutrition? That's like going on, watching an infomercial saying, oh, that vitamin looks kind of cool. I think I have those symptoms. You go and you order it twenty nine ninety five, right? And you take this pill and you think that it's going to change your prostate forever, right? That's not the case. So it's not that simple. I mean, can those, can it give benefits? Yeah. But there's a whole cascade of nutritional deficiencies that have happened in your body to why certain systems have broken down some genetics, but maybe 10 to 15% tops. Like it's not a lot of genetics. It's mostly lifestyle. And so that's why getting into a good routine knowing what your nutritional deficiencies are, having someone not blindly doing nutrition, but strategically doing nutrition to figure out what with labs and understanding what's in your blood, powers in the blood, always figuring out exactly what your body needs to get away from that blind nutrition model. So you want to have an expert, no different than having a cardiologist for your heart, no different than having a dermatologist for your skin. You want to have a nutritional based provider based doctor that is trained in that that can do lab work and can figure out the core deficiencies it needs to be personalized for your body because your body's different than mine mine's different than yours and yours is different than your neighbor it's just that way triple eight two eight three seven two seven two darren and glenn or gardendale alabama says 
I have a chronic lung condition. What can I do for this? Depends on what that is. If it was like a C, you didn't list it, so I don't know, but it's like a COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, if that's something like that. I mean, the biggest, the biggest focus when you have a lung condition or a health challenge is you have to make sure, and, and this is, this is pretty solid. I mean, you have to make sure in this kind of case, which is super important, you've got to make sure that inflammation is down. And the only way to do that, it starts with your eating habits. I talk about this a lot, but your food is your medicine and inflammation starts in the gut and it spreads. So if you have, if you're eating the wrong kind of foods in the, in the body and you're not getting the kind of nutrition that you need, then you're not going to have everything that you need. Okay. Meaning that if you're not getting the right nutrients, okay, proteins, fats, carbohydrates, if you're not eating from the right food sources that lower inflammation in the body, if you're not doing that, you're not getting that, then that's your foundational point. There's no supplement. There's no wonder pill that's going to miraculously help. If it is something like COPD, then it's more about slowing the progression of that condition than it is completely reversing it. Now, we'll tell you that there's a amino acid that helps. And this is just, again, this is not, this is not a cure-all and it's not even a, a, a silver bullet. It is simply something that can help. And it's been documented to be targeted for the lungs. And it can really help people that have smoked for a long time rebuild the lung tissue. But L-taurine, T-A-U-R-I-N-E, L-taurine is really good for supporting good, healthy lung tissue and the rebuilding and the repairing of it can be very beneficial from doing that. So a couple of things when you've got something along those lines, look at our anti-inflammatory based diet. Okay. It's in the book and you can get a free copy of my book, by the way, if you go to asrx.com or go to myfreehealthbook.com, you can get a free copy of our book and we're giving it away to you for free. So you get it for free. You get a copy of the book. We cover, or you, we pay for the book. You cover the shipping. It's that simple. It's a really good deal. We want to get it into the hands of as many people as possible because we believe in impacting as many people as possible, changing lives as many people as possible. And there's 7 billion people on the planet right now. We want to touch every one of you, okay? Help everyone to get their health back, to live their potential, to become the best version of themselves. So that's what our company's about. That's what the show's about. That's what our message is about. And that's what we want to see happen with you. So get a co- free copy of the book. Just go to myfreehealthbook.com, myfreehealthbook.com. All you got to do is cover the shipping, and we'll send it to you. Pretty easy. Very, very cool. 888 Now, in just a moment, there's a lot of you on the phones. I can, I can see you there, so hang tight. We're going to get right to you. Now, after this break, I want to tell you that we're going to jump into some calls. Also, I've got a tip you don't want to miss when it comes to health and fitness. And it's a question that a lot of people have been asking us on social media. And I'm going to jump in and answer that. First, we got Colin in Kansas that wants to know, what do I need to do for low energy levels? Well, the one biggest thing, Colin, is to not be hitting too much caffeine. Keep it to 200 milligrams max per day and eat clean. Hi, it's Asa. I'm giving you a copy of my best-selling book for free to help you in your health journey today. I'll pay for the book. All you do is just cover the small shipping and handling costs. Go to asarx.com and get your free book today. Connect with On Call Radio and watch On Call TV at InShapeNetwork.com. Welcome back to the show, 888-283-7272. That's 888-283-7272. We're here for you each and every day. This is Asa Rx. Go to asarx.com and we can help you. If you're looking for a free copy of our book, go to myfreehealthbook.com or at the website. You can find it. We send you the book. We pay for the book. It's hardback. It's my best-selling book. Send it to you. All you got to do is cover the shipping. It's a pretty sweet deal. So we've been doing that to be able to help you, encourage you, equip you, and and give you all the tools that you need to be able to live a healthy lifestyle. That's what it's all about. 888-283-7272. Let's get on the phones and go to Wilfred. 
Hello. Uh, my brother-in-law has been diagnosed with Graves' disease. This is a disease where your uh, eyes get extremely puffy, almost to the point where you look disfigured. And uh, he's been prescribed all kinds of drugs, but nothing seems to help him. And I was wondering if there was anything that um, you might know of uh, that could remedy his situation or at least alleviate it. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. I'll tell you, the thing is, Wilfred, it's... It's with Graves' disease, which is a challenge in itself. There's a couple things you got to look at, and one is that the anterior pituitary, so the pituitary gland, we call it the master gland. It's a little gland that sits up in the brain, but the pituitary gland is kind of the master controller over everything. I guess the master controller over all the hormone systems in the body. It's just the the Jedi master, if you will. It, it overlooks everything, and when it's not working right then the hormone systems that kind of are monitored by it, they don't work right either. So the thyroid, for the most part, in most research, you'll find it, it they say that the thyroid is is typically it's usually secondary, okay, to the anterior pituitary. So whether it's moving fast or moving slow, so hypo, hypothyroid would be slow, it'd be moving too slow. Hyper is fast. And when you start cranking out Graves' disease, it gets in that category. So you really want to have the pituitary monitored, monitored and the hypothalamus. There's a whole axis there that needs to be evaluated and looked at. And once you kind of figure that out, you start working your way backwards, right? Because it's about getting to the root cause of the issue, not just hanging out in the branches. So that's one of the big keys you have to look at in, in understanding. Because I got to tell you that Graves' disease, we're seeing more and more. And it's, it's, it, there's another... Uh, autoimmune condition of the thyroid called Hashimoto's thyroiditis, right? And we're seeing a lot of that too. So a lot of this is creeping up. And I believe with autoimmune conditions, we're seeing that for a variety of factors. There's things, uh, stressors, psychological stressors that trigger a lot of this because you, a lot of times there's a genetic component there, but it lays dormant and it takes a tremendous amount of stress or chemicals in the environment or chemicals in our food. Sometimes it can trigger it. Now, these are theories. This is not like proven in medical science. So these are theories, but the thought is that these can happen. But with Graves, the biggest thing is you want to look into iodine therapy too. I would have a test done to figure out if the person is iodine deficient. And the reason is if it is directly more the thyroid and it's not as secondary to the pituitary gland, then the iodine levels could be low. And usually when low iodine, you've got issues with everything else. I mean, the, the body's just not working the way that it needs to. The thyroid is not going to work the way it needs to. See, every minerals, even trace minerals like iodine, the body needs. Certain systems in the body, literally, they need that to be able to function at their best. And if they're not getting it, then they can't. So that's what I would get monitored and looked at. And that way you're not, you get out of the guessing game and you get into what really matters. And that's that's really what, that's the deal. That's the that's the main thing you got to focus on more than anything else. Okay, triple eight two eight three seven two seven two. This triple eight two eight three seven two seven two. Go to asarx dot com if you haven't checked out our podcast. You can at all the outlets called the asarx experience. You can go iTunes, Stitcher, Pandora, any of those. You can find the podcast. Uh, iHeart they all carry it, and so check out the podcast. And if you need any help with that, always let us know. And then, of course, our free book. Make sure to get a copy of our best-selling book, my best-selling book. Hard copy. We'll send you the book for free. Just cover the little bit of shipping, and we'll get it to you so you can be encouraged and really get to the next level with your health and with your life. That's what it's about. Ace Rx, the show is about living your potential and becoming the best version of you. See, that's the key. That's what this whole deal is all about. Now, I want to jump into something on the fitness side because I get this hit this question a lot. So the question is, all right, you ready for the drum roll? <laughs> so the question is, how much protein does someone actually need to eat every day? So we're in a world now where we have all these apps and they track everything, right? So they track your, your eating consumption. You can put in your calories and you can break down what's called your macronutrients or we call them macros for short. And you can look at things like proteins, fats, carbohydrates, and get the percentages of what each one is. And of course, if you're working on body composition, all of that is based around certain numbers. And if you want to get leaner and more muscular, then you want to get your protein levels up. 
And you actually want to keep your fat levels moderate because fats stabilize the hormone systems in the body. And if you don't have those stabilized, then you're not going to be able to produce in the body. It's not going to be, the body's not going to be able to produce what it needs to. Okay. So you really want to focus in on and make sure more than anything that you're getting enough protein. So the protein rule is what I call it. And for the average person that exercises, okay, not the super athlete, the bodybuilder, the football player, all of that, for the average person that is active, all right, and to, to get good gains and to, to make some good progress with that, you want to do one gram of protein per pound of body weight. Now, this is provided you don't have any kidney issues and the doctors don't have you on any kind of special diet, that everything's hunky-dory, you know, there's nothing pending in that area but one gram of protein per pound of body weight so if you weigh 150 pounds you do 150 grams of protein and that typically will give you the amount of protein that you need to build lean body tissue and keep everything where it needs to be puts another hour in the charts i want to thank our producers mr fig also Derek allen john garrison our chief engineer and the rest of the team go tell one person something you learned on the show together we can transform the health of our friends our families and our communities to help them live their potential. Do you know you could listen to the Asa RX audio experience on Spotify and Pandora? For all the ways to watch and listen, check out our show page at asarx.com slash experience. Hi, it's Asa. I'm giving you a copy of my best-selling book for free to help you in your health journey today. I'll pay for the book. All you do is just cover the small shipping and handling costs. Go to AsaRx.com and get your free book today. This episode is over, but check episode notes for links to products and services you've heard about on this episode. Thanks for listening and subscribing. Please share the AsaRx audio experience with others and stay in touch by giving us your comment or review.